Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Well, we're at Friday the 13th, 7.13.07. And did anybody take the elevator ride up yesterday? What a monster. The NASDAQ, wow. You know, I think it settled at, what, 20.09 yesterday. I got in front of this camera and said, we're going to 20.33. You guys laughed at me. Just see where we went today, 20.36. That is insane. Go Omni, go. We talked about S&P has to make new highs and catch up to the NASDAQ in order for this rounded top to be negated and for us to take off to the upside. You've heard me say in a couple of videos, I can't join the bear camp yet. I've been a bull for four years. But if this S&P doesn't follow the NASDAQ, which is always our leader, then we're going to have some trouble on the downside. Well, you guys see what happened. The S&P came rolling right up, caught up just as it was supposed to do, and made a new contract high today. Got up into the 1558 area. It was insane. What a rally. In fact, we talked about buying the S&P yesterday in our video in the 1520, in the mid to high 1520s. The low was 1529.75, and it blasted off. So Omni caught them both really nicely. I got a couple of charts I want to show you, a little illustration of why we should continue on further and why the NASDAQ is the leader. So let me throw those charts up. We'll take a look at them, and then I'll come back and give you some strategy for tomorrow. Here's the NASDAQ chart. It is a daily bar, September NASDAQ. We talked about, I've shown you this chart a few times. We talked about how the Fed did nothing right here on this day, and the market should rally for new contract highs. Lo and behold, it went and it made the new contract high a few days later. The S&P failed to follow the NASDAQ to new contract highs, and that's when I started showing you charts with a rounded top in the S&P, and I stated if we can't get this out of the S&P, we have a problem, but I think it will follow the leader. Well, NASDAQ, in the last couple of days, did it again and just exploded to all-time new contract highs as we were hoping for. So there's the NASDAQ chart. It is the leader. It made the new contract high one, two, three days ago, and then made another one today. Now I'm going to show you the S&P chart, show you why the NASDAQ is the leader, and then you'll see why the S&P should likely continue on higher. The S&P chart, daily bar September. Here, FOMC does nothing. We're supposed to rally and make a new contract high above the previous ones, which should take us up here. But the market went up and failed to get above contract highs. NASDAQ made it above contract highs. Look back, one, two, three days ago, S&P was only here when NASDAQ was already at new contract highs. Well, NASDAQ decided it was bulling up for contract highs again, second time, took the S&P with it, and look at that run, boom, here we are, new contract highs, and my work tells us we're going all the way up to 1577. I've been calling for 77, you guys can look back at some publications I did in the beginning of this year, I talked about S&P should likely get to 1577, so long as we can take out what was turning into this rounded top, we should be able to go. Well, there it is before your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, it followed the leader, which is the NASDAQ, and it blasted off for new contract highs, and I tell you tomorrow, barring any major report coming out tomorrow, that is not sort of close to what's expected. Could be a few points above or a few points below. But if it is close to what's expected, you can expect S&P to bull up. Maybe it'll get as high as that 1577 level. Wow, I didn't think it would get there this quick this year. I thought it would happen sometime out in November. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is on its way. What a great chart. What a great market. I am so glad that the bulls took control once again. So you've seen the charts, you see that there's good reason why we should now have follow through. The NASDAQ really bulled, pulled the S&P with it. Our directional call for Omni and where to buy and where to get out was right on target. To be honest, I must say I am a knucklehead. 
I stood there, I put my orders in, just below where we ended up making lows last night at 4.30 in the morning. I talked about buying S&P in the high to mid 1520s. I had my order in at 15.27. It didn't get filled. By the time I decided maybe we'll jump in, we were $5 higher. I didn't want to get in $5 higher. You know, most days we've been having these pullbacks. And away she went without me. And you know what? I've said this to you guys many, many times. I'd rather be out of a trade wishing I was in than in a trade wishing I was out. So I called it for you guys and I missed it. But hey, I'll catch this one tomorrow. You know me. I'm the short-term trader with the long-term plan. There'll be plenty more of these this year. So let's see what we can get. Now, for tomorrow, Friday the 13th, in the S&P, SPU7, ESU7, we got a green Omni. Same thing in the NASDAQ. We are going to look for Omni support in the upper to mid 1540s for tomorrow. Currently trading a bit higher than that. If it pulls back, I'm looking to get in in the upper to mid 1540s. Omni's profit objective is 1577. You buy it in the 40s. If we get lucky and the bulls really take control like they did yesterday, you're going to get somewhere near that level. I actually don't think it'll happen tomorrow. That's probably coming in the next few days or the next run up. But resistance is expected as we approach the 1564-1566 area. Or be out by the close. Again, look to buy it in the mid to upper 1540s. Profit objective. If, the, or if Utopia decides to trade for us today, we're going to 1577. In Utopia, we'll be there. But we're not in Utopia. Let's see what happens. Omni's resistance is expected, again, at the 1564 to 1566 area, or be out by the close. I will not ride this one over the weekend. It likely will put in a weekend rule and go higher still on Monday. NASDAQ did that for us on Friday last week into Monday of this week. You never know. You know me. I'll flash update you guys during the day in case it looks so great that we're going to hold it. If we get lucky and all this stuff does work. But let's see what's going to happen. For now, be out by the close. And the NASDAQ, the NQU7 Large ENU7 for the Mini. Omni support in the high 2020 area. If it gets in the high 2020s, I think you need to jump on that and you need to get long. Omni's profit objective is 2064. So if you buy them in the high 20s, I'm expecting a bull run like I am in S&P all the way to 2064. However, on the way up, resistance is expected as we approach the 2050-2052 area. Again, or be out by the close in NASDAQ. If we're going to change that, I'll flash update you guys during the day. Speaking of flash updates, I know you guys have noticed the format change. Again, a lot of guys have written in and told me it's great for them. And a bunch of other people have written in and said, please, Oscar, please put back your original Omnis. So we have been retooling the site. I've told you this night after night. We're just about ready to give you access again to the old Omnis. We will have a nominal fee for that. Scare away the people who really don't want to trade with us. You guys who are part of our club, you'll pay a nominal fee and you'll get the Omnis back just the way they used to be. And I think we're really going to be able to do well with that. At this point, we're sending flash updates. Anybody who doesn't want to become one of the Omniacs and join our club, they're getting delayed flash updates, guys. So you Omniacs, you stick with me and we're going places. Now, I had some things I wanted to show you. There are some GAN angles coming up. I have a GAN wheel or called the GAN pyramid. And for any of my Omniacs that came to Vegas to see my show, you guys have seen that old relic I have, right, from 20 years ago. I got a really great GAN chart to show you guys. I just, you know, I don't think I'll break it out in tonight's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow on the Friday Roundup. I'll break out the GAN pyramid slash GAN wheel, and I'll show you guys some really interesting stuff that GAN had come up with years and years ago. And the levels are starting to prove through right now, prove true, and I think you'll find them really interesting on the GAN wheel. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. You guys that you know I'm here to bridge the gap for you. You see that it works. You see that I'm able to instruct you in ways that maybe others can't because of my knowledge from the floor, from the dinosaur dens as I like to refer to them, to now where we trade electronically and I teach you guys how to get your orders in, make sure that you place your stops first. Well, it really is working. The emails have been fantastic. I have traders that have gotten better and better since they started with me. And with that in mind, I want you guys, we still have a bunch of, we still have some of the VIP slots left. 
for you guys that want to open up a trading account with me and become somebody who actually gets access to me during the day on the telephone. You, we're opening up a room very shortly with a microphone and a camera and a shared desktop. And when I'm going to do a flash update and get you out of one of these trades, I'm going to hit the microphone and say, guys, let's bail. I'm starting to type to the rest of the world and we'll have a chance to get out before the public even hears about it. So if you want that service, you come and open up an account with us. All you have to do is come to my site, www.futurestraders.com. Right at the home page at the top right, there is an icon. You click on that, and it will give, bring you access to where you can fill out account forms. Come join me, guys. I think you have a great time. I will be your personal broker. And you guys, if you've been watching me long enough, you know I can certainly help you out in that area. So come be a VIP customer of mine because, as I've told you guys, when my slots are full, I'm going to shut off access to becoming... Uh, a, a member of my VIP club because you know what I can't be there for everybody as far as being on the phone and servicing them so you know one, you know once we reach a certain level guys are only gonna get in when some guy drops out so fill out your forms come do it now before we gotta cut you guys off don't forget about the webinar room it's coming very shortly my guys have been working their butts off on this site and I'm really proud of you guys guys thank you so much you guys have been doing a really great job for me. I can't say enough for my team. The guys behind the scenes are even better than me. These guys are really great. And they're going to bring you guys something fantastic. Wait till you see the new site and all the good stuff that's going to be on it. By the way, I'd like for you guys to continue to send me your emails very easily. Just shoot me out some emails at oscar at futuresanalysts.com. You can always subscribe to my YouTube videos by going to my YouTube spot. And that is www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. If you're there, hit the subscribe button. You'll get my videos the moment we put them out. Um, last but not least, call me anytime, day or night. You know you'll find me manning these phones. That number is 718-351-2266. I hope you guys have had a good week so far. We've given some decent levels in the gold and the silver and, and the S&P and the, and the NASDAQ this week. I want you to stay with it. I want you to continue to do your homework because the only way to get better at this and become a better Omniac is to take my recommendations, take my levels, take all the teaching I, teachings I give you guys and meld it into your own style. Don't just take my numbers and trade them like a roadmap. Take my numbers as guidance for where you should get in and get yourselves out. And don't forget, if you're all going to get in somewhere around the, the upper to mid 1540s tomorrow, find a place to put a sell stop that makes sense to you, place your sell stop first, and then place your buy order this way. If a disaster takes place, your stop was in before you got yourself long. All right, tomorrow we're going to do a nice roundup for the week. We'll show you that Gantt chart. We'll talk about a few things. We'll see what we can come up with to keep everybody uh, in tune and ready for Monday. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, keep your emotions out of this thing and keep it simple. Our motto here at Short Term Trading is keep it simple. Keep your analysis simple, keep your thoughts simple, and keep your emotions out of this game. Just trade the markets for what they are. Don't try to tell them what to do. The markets always tell us where they're going. We can never, ever tell the market where it's going. It just will not listen. The markets are bigger than we are, so don't forget... Do your homework, keep your emotions out, place your stops first, and say this every day. Say it to yourself in the morning, say it to yourself at night, say it all the time, and say it especially when you're about to place an order, because these markets are sick, and you got to be sick to trade them like me and the rest of these guys, but we love it because it's what we do. And don't forget, and that is, stops, stops are in, in. emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.